This is one of the speed controllers that I took out of the boat that used to be in it. The other one was sitting right there. I was kind of curious to see if it still worked. So I put it in the boat. I had some old lead acid batteries in my house hanging around. And uh, after doing some testing, these four turned out to be the ones in the best shape. These ones are like really dead. So I connected four batteries directly to one of the solar panels. So it doesn't have a charge controller right now. It's just charging directly from the solar panels, which is fine as long as I, you know, pay attention. I think it would, uh, but I'll keep an eye on it and make sure they don't overcharge, whatever, fine. Regardless, I've got a really crappy power supply right now, which means I can test my speed controller. This might be a really boring video if this thing doesn't work. Uh, and I'm about 90% sure I've got everything connected right. I went online and looked up the, the diagram for this. It looks like a mess, but it's not as complicated as it looks. Okay, let's put the throttle in, because I put it... I attached the speed controller to the last contacts on the switch. So, yeah. This thing should be connected now. Here's the throttle. And this little switch, if I turn it on, there should be a click. Oh, oh, it sounds like this switch is kind of crappy. Come on, switch. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I need to replace that switch, obviously. So it's working at the moment. I've got a little green light there. And if I turn this, Oh my gosh, it's working! I know you, you can't see it, but obviously you can hear the noise, but let's... Alright, I can turn this with one hand. Yeah, there's the propeller down there. I can go nice and slow, a little faster, go speed! Well, I don't think I could go full speed very long because <laughs> these batteries were basically dead when I, I plugged them in a couple hours ago. And there hasn't even been that much sun. I'll have to check them with my voltage meter. I don't know, maybe, maybe I have an extra charge controller I can uh, put in here temporarily. I guess it would be worth doing, maybe? I don't know, mostly I just wanted to ch test the speed controller so that I can decide if I want to use it or not. And I guess since it, since it works and I've got it, I may as well use it. So I do have a, another speed control idea that just uses like giant resistors to get in the way of the current, you know, kind of like a, a little toy would work. And the giant resistors are just heating elements. And uh, I've mentioned this before. They're, they're on my Amazon wish list. And uh, I've been thinking about getting them, but maybe I'll hold off if this speed controller thing is functional, which it appears to be. Uh, which is kind of impressive because it's been it's been sitting in the boat for years unused while I was working on my house, and uh, it's got rust on it and stuff, but totally functional. So I think I'm going to use it. Uh, that way, when I get the lithium iron phosphate batteries that are coming, I can uh, I can plug it into that. And to connect all this junk, I just like used whatever wires were around, and I've got wires like strung across here going to the ceiling and stuff. And these are all it's just all over the place. Uh, I'll do a much better wiring job when I'm not just doing a test. And I'm not sure where to put this. It's got to be somewhere. I don't know, maybe it goes right up in here somewhere. So it's easy to reach with all the rest of the controls. Well, obviously, yeah. All right, you guys, put the put the switch all the way to forward. This way? Like uh, the... Toward me? Yeah, all the way up. I'll just put it all the way up. Go, do it. Is it all the way? All the way. All the way. Push it all the way up. All right, that's good. Now, I just replaced the switch on this thing. 
on my speed controller and it <laughs> appeared to be the only piece that was having a problem. So, yeah, little green lights on, good. And then here, uh, silly baby, if you turn the knob, it should make the motor turn on. Yeah. Turn this. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Okay, now turn it back. Turn it off. Yeah. Okay. So it appears this whole thing is totally functional. When you put it in the water. You wanna you wanna know the sound it makes when I put it in the water? Well, I think we're gonna save that for when we can really drive the boat. Uh, what I want to do now is maybe figure out where this speed controller goes. Probably under here, although I might just wait till I get the batteries because I'm not sure how big these batteries are. Regardless, uh, I want to get all these boat batteries off the boat and get all this junk that was on the boat before and you know, basically clean off the boat, get my boots out of there and stuff and the extra wires that are here. Yeah, totally clean off the boat so I can paint it. <clears throat> And uh, how are we going to paint it? Blue and white tiger stripes, is yeah. that right? You should just have a glow in the dark. Or what do you think? Blue and white tiger stripes? Yeah. Yeah? You should definitely do some glow in the dark. You think I should do some glow in the dark? Well, I yeah. do have some glow in the dark powder. I don't want to use it all though. Well, yeah, like I need to clean it. up all this stuff. Wait, I'm, we're going to take all this stuff off the boat in a minute anyway. Oh, be, be really careful of that wire there. I'm going to disconnect it in a minute anyway, but yeah, let's let's get everything off the boat that's not totally a piece of the boat. And I'm not going to paint today because it's overcast and it might rain, but supposedly tomorrow is it's supposed to be a sunny day. And then it's supposed to be a sunny week next week. So if not tomorrow, pretty soon I should be able to paint the boat. You put fins so, on it. I put what? Put oh yeah, I put I put bigger fins on. Oh. Yeah, if you guys pedal now, um, it's, it's a lot harder to pedal because there's bigger fins pushing on the water now. I did that yesterday, I think, two days ago. I don't know, yesterday. Anyway, yeah, I want to get everything off the boat that's not it's totally part of the boat. Oh, I still have to cut off this stupid steering thing. But anyway, get everything off the boat and maybe clean up a bit of the paint, do a bit of sanding, scrape off any flaking paint. Just get it ready to paint. And also, the tops of these things, these little posts here, I want to trim off the tops of those a little, just, just so they're even. Other than that, yeah, I just want to get everything off the boat, all my stuff. Oh yeah, here's my, here's my roller. I guess I don't need to kick that off the boat, because it's going to be to paint the boat. Alright little tiger man, you're hired. You know what, I'm going to leave these four batteries connected for a while because they're charging and they may still be kind of usable. I mean, they're they're pretty old and not holding a lot of charge, but you know, I could put them in a in a little cabin or something on their own and I wouldn't have to worry about the batteries getting wrecked. And they have enough energy to, you know, run a computer and some lights or something. Okay, here's another silly question. What if we replace this entire section here with the floor and a steam engine. Yeah, you know how a steam engine works? We, uh, I know. You do? You know how they work because you're smart and read a lot. We get wood and stick it in the steam engine, start up a big fire, and then we can have a propeller or a shaft that goes out the back through that hole down there uh, to a propeller and it can, we can run the boat on, on wood, which would be kind of cool. Anyway, we're not doing that right now. Well, I guess I should get a before paint shot because I may just get inspired and do it real quick. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Why do I have like four different paint jobs on this thing? I also want to paint the roof. I was thinking about putting a big adventure builder symbol up there. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. No, seriously, I am. I was cleaning out the boat and I found this bucket of pulleys. I totally forgot where I put them. I've been kind of 
wondering where they went for years. So I can replace the pulleys at the back that lift the motor. And then these things are cool. How do they you can make pulleys with those? Do you have to like add the metal pot on? Yeah, pulleys are great. Yeah, I need to replace a few of these. 